And step number 10 is Instagram influencers. Now I wanted to add this in here because influencer marketing is a very good entry point for people. And it's also a very, very cheap entry point where people can find these influencers, market to them, or sorry, give them a promoted post, pay them $20, $30, and you might make $100, $200, $500, depending on the influencer. So let's do a little bit of research into that to teach you a bit about influencer marketing and sort of how you can do it yourself. And I'm going to give you a template as well to help you to try and also um, find these influencers, regardless of the niche you're in, to try and market to them accordingly. All right, lovely. So I'm just on Instagram here and we can see I've found a page. I just typed in the word gym and I found this straight away or fitness. And we found a page that has all about, all about fitness and health. You can see DM for credit and removal. Okay. So they can do shout outs for you and help build your name. You can see they get engagement from a number of people and this is how you can sort of find them. So if we put in like gym again, okay, so let's, um, this one, Jim Pilot. Okay, so here we go. This is another great example. This guy has 114,000 followers. Okay, um, and he's doing a uh, for Jim Pilot 10% off, you know, and he does collaborations. So you might be able to contact him and see what type of collaboration that you can do with this individual to, you know, help one another out. He might help promote your product, he might. Um, do a various number of things to help you grow your business. Okay, so um, and in return, he might ch he'll might charge you a fee. He might have different arrangements based on different factors. Okay, so that's just an example, and you can find them now. I also wanted to add a little bit of an extra um, uh, bit of help here as well. I've got this template of about six hundred influences. Okay, so. 600 influencers across different niches, meme, tattoo, food, animals, interior design, you know, um, sports again, or gym. Uh, you got all these different influences. So if we have a look here, let's try and find one that we're looking for. So if we go, um, so, uh, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just try and manually find one because I was struggling. Here we go, fitness. So if we go the Fit Academy, all right, you can see this. Okay, that's not appropriate. So if we go further down and let's see if we can find something else, sports. Okay, so if we go sports there, all right, so we've got sports jokes and you might be able to contact this person and you can see they've got a huge amount of following. And we've got, we don't have the email in this case, but we do know their name. And you can go through a number of these and try and contact these people if they fit in your niche. I wanted to give you that to try and help you out. So one thing I wanted to show you as well was here, you might be wondering, okay, what's, what about the engagement? How does that help me? Okay, so you wanna try and aim at preferably a 2% engagement rate. A number of these are still pretty good, but um, you know, you wanna try and aim at a real, uh, at a decent engagement rate. So if we go here, there's a free tool known as flanks.com and you can put in someone's um, Instagram, whatever their Instagram handle is, and you can see what their actual engagement is. Okay, so if we put um, uh, Jim Shark and let's have a look here and it should find us Jim Shark. Sometimes it can just take a little moment. But what it'll do is it'll tell us the overall engagement rate. It'll it can tell us the likes. It can tell us um, so on and so forth. So you can see Gymshark has 1.2% um, on average, 48,000 likes with 500 comments, pretty much. Okay, so um, that can give you an idea, and you can you can then have a look at their actual Instagram page and see how large of a business they are, and so on and so forth. And you can see here that this is all they're about. So. Um, you can see that this works perfectly well and is a great way to help find um, quality influencers that you can use as well. And you can see here like, you know, Kylie Jenner um, has 4.57 with however many. And you can look at all of these and it's free to do. So I'd recommend doing that if you're doing influencer marketing so that you can qualify them as a good influencer 
to market to okay so um, these templates will be down below in the description as well for you to swipe um, and use for your own business all right so that pretty much concludes it now what i wanted to discuss here was now this is a great starting point you should have a lot of resources you'll have a great idea on how to do the various elements of getting your business started within an hour or two really really quick really really easy Make sure you check down the description. I'm going to have links to things like the business manager, to the various documents down below, templates and stuff as well. They're going to get you started. You can see how quick and easy it really is to get started with your business um, with mostly free tools that do most of the work for you um, that allow you to focus on getting your business up and running really quickly um, and start trying to focus on growing your business. So make sure you keep learning as well. So, uh, you know, this, this video is a video that should give you a complete step-by-step, -step, but there is more to this um, industry than what I've spoken about here. I would definitely recommend to keep learning, watching. I've got over 150 videos in my channel. I would recommend going and looking at them um, and just keep watching and learning more. And I would also recommend joining Facebook groups. I've got a Facebook group. There's plenty of other Facebook groups as well. Joining and learning. Keep, keep learning. Never, ever stop learning. In our space, it is all very dependent on us evolving um, on a constant basis um, and understanding that we don't know everything and just keep evolving and learning and learning. And before you know it, this will all become second nature. Okay. Now, I recommend as well by joining these groups, uh, following people on YouTube and, and so on and so forth to network with people. One of the biggest things that one of the biggest mistakes that I made was I didn't network with enough people early on or I didn't network with the right people. And that's a very subjective thing, but I recommend trying to reach out to people and network with them. Okay, don't expect them to just guide you on the path to success. Okay. Uh, just ask them some nice questions and see if you can get some feedback from them to help you grow your business, okay? People that are very successful are also very busy, but a lot of these successful people, including myself, we do genuinely care and we want to help you to grow your business, okay? That's why we do this. So don't be afraid to reach out to people and network. Go to events in your local area. Reach out to people because you're just going to keep learning. You're going to network and people will help you to to create your own business that's going to create you a sustainable income for your life. Okay, um, now my last and most important tip um, is always to focus on the customer first, okay? So in your business, I know starting out, uh, many of you uh, finance may be tight or um, time, you might be time strict with a lot of commitments in your life. Um, Whatever, whatever your personal circumstances, please don't rush your business and please always focus on customer first, okay? Um, customers should always win and businesses that focus on their customers first and foremost always win long term, okay? Don't, don't worry about the short term. Think of the long term, how you can provide an exemplary um, customer experience and really just treat them incredibly well because those people will advocate for you. They'll buy from you again. You're going to then build a long-term sustainable business. Okay, so please, please focus on that. That is very important. Um, and one of the key elements that I've always employed into my businesses that has allowed me to consistently provide myself a stable form of income. Okay, at the end of the day here, we're here for a stable form of income. Okay, regardless of some people earning more, some people earning less, whatever, stability is your goal. And the way to achieve stability is by focusing on your customer. Understand your customer, understand who and what they are, and focus on giving them the experience he or she desires in their respective lives okay so that pretty much concludes today's video guys this has been a really long one um been really fun putting this together i hope it has been really helpful um if you did enjoy it please smash that like button it took me a long time to put this together really trying to uh bring a lot of resources together so that you guys in a single video have the information you need to confidently go out there and create your own business uh with certainty um and if you do like my content 
just subscribe to my channel. I upload every week. Okay, guys, I upload every week. I've got a ton of value in my channel already that you can go and check out with resources to free courses, free cheat sheets, um, other, other courses on how to do Facebook ads, Bing ads, YouTube ads, Pinterest ads, Google ads. Okay. Um, and just many, many, many videos that's going to keep expanding your knowledge. Okay. So I, I really hope this has been helpful. Okay. Um, and I really appreciate you sitting through and watching this entire video. I know it's been a, a very long video, but I really wanted to make something that uh, for the end of year that really encompasses how to start a business profitably to allow you to uh, really go into 2020 with confidence knowing that you can start a business um, you know and and make your own sustainable income so that you can live your life as you see fit so that's all from today's video guys again don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe comment down below I'd love to know your feedback on this as well have a lovely day take care and goodbye